Oh, Fox. You greedy, maniacal company. On my list of movies for the summer of 2012, there was about two or three that I could not have been more excited for. And that was The Avengers, Brave, and Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, as most of you already know, it's kind of the story, like, biography of Abraham Lincoln with subplots of vampires being thrown into the mix. Um, according to the book. According to the movie! Completely different story, apparently. Uh, I've read so many biographies about Abraham Lincoln. He was one of my, like, idols in, like, Brady's from Middle School. I've read so many books about Abraham Lincoln. This wasn't it. I understand there's vampires in it and stuff. That's not even the point. Uh, the story of Abraham Lincoln in this movie is not that accurate at all. <laughs> um, it, and the pacing of this movie, it's bad. There's, there's no other way. There's no. Um, things happened. It, it, like, you were lucky to have a frame that lasted more than seven seconds. It was, it was that bad. Um, I, I understand, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go on a little rant here just about books, movies being turned, into, like, books being turned into movies in general. Um, if, if a book is fairly lengthy, and Every Unlike and Empire Hunter is fairly lengthy, chop it up into sequels. You do not have to rush this movie in order to get it on screen! I... Th this movie felt long. And it, it, it felt long. Um, I, I, I believe it like clocks in at two hours exactly, but it felt like a three and a half hour movie. Like, I, I don't look at my clock very often when I'm looking at um, whenever I'm in a theater, but I looked at my watch on my, the time on my phone at like three times. Because this just felt so long. Incredibly long. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and do the things I actually like about the movie first. Uh, it's it's going to be kind of a short list. Um, the acting all around, um, it's, it's not good, but it could have been a lot worse. Uh, when it comes to movies of this caliber, you can't really be greedy on the lines of phenomenal acting. And, you know, they got some pretty big-named actors in this, and for the most part... I don't blame the acting, I blame the script. I'll get back to that later. But, the other thing I actually thought was really good was the mesh, not the make, not the special effects, the makeup. The makeup in this movie, uh, of course, on Abraham Lincoln and his wife Mary, that's pretty good makeup, um, along the lines of making someone look older. Uh, I, I don't know the, li the lifespan and how, how many years this movie covers, it's quite a few. Uh, and the makeup is actually, I thought, pr done pretty well. Um, and what else did I actually like? <sighs> the soundtrack um, I meant to talk about, I actually thought was pretty... Maybe not... It was good, it was a very good soundtrack, but maybe not meant for this movie. Uh, it... It, was, it had a really good, like, melody, really good chorus, and then it would do, like, some sort of real, like, techno kind of sound effect, and it was, like, you listen to this, it's like listening to a really, really classic piano song, and hearing, like, a cat getting stepped on by a bully. It was just... It was weird. Uh, it wasn't really bad, it just didn't really fit. Um, and then I'm gonna go into the stuff I did not like about the movie. I've already talked about the pacing, and how the pacing is beyond terrible. The camera work... <sighs> it's not that hard, guys. It's not that hard, Hollywood, to film an action scene without doing this. It's, it's not hard to emphasize what your characters are doing, even though 
they're doing, like, outrageous things, it's not that hard to just hold the camera still while filming an action scene. It's not that hard. Ugh. I don't really know how people think they're getting a story across whenever the camera moves in such chaotic, chaotic ways. Um, the special effects kind of goes along with this. Most of the action is shot at night when there's a lot of like fog and fire and mist and all this chaotic stuff flying around to the point where you can't see anything that's happening to the characters. You're basically just watching fog and mist collide. Um, you, you don't see the characters, you just hear clashing and metal hitting bone. And you never actually see it because all you see is fog and mist in front of the lens. Um, and when the action shot so quickly and chaotically, you just you stop caring for the characters. Which is another problem with this movie. You don't care. Uh, people start dying off, people start getting hacked away. And you just don't care. It, it's not as bad as, say, The Hunger Games, and how chaotic, how, how big of a chaotic mess that was. Go watch that review. But it's a small cast with. I, I just I, I can see the book that is meant to be in this. I can I can visualize the story that they wanted to tell. And you have to expand. If you if if you want to get all this stuff in there, fine. Make it into sequels. Do not clash it all into one big film. Because you're not going to get your story across the way you intended. At all. Um, it's just... Like, there's this one part where Abraham Lincoln has to kill off, like, four, five vampires in one... in, like, a week or whatever. And you see all six of them die in the span of maybe 70 seconds? You could have done so much with this backstory to all those vampires, and you could have done the backstory of how does Abraham Lincoln feel causing his first murder. Actually, you do see. You do see Abraham Lincoln do his first murder, and you know what? He doesn't care. It's just an average day in the park for him to, to kill an, a vampire on the side of the street. Uh, the plot holes in this movie... I've never read the book. I want to. But was it always silver? Was it, was it always silver? Because can't we just pick a vampire theory and stick with it for all eternity? They sparkle. They 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 can't see their reflection. They hate garlic. Now they hate silver. Wasn't silver always a werewolf thing? I watched that this entire movie just thinking no silver goes with werewolves. No 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 this is wrong. Silver goes with werewolves. And let's just I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil a couple things but you know what you're not gonna care because you're not gonna see this movie Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter bam there's a movie title that's what happened in the movie um it's just this, this vampire gets shot in the eye with a silver bullet and silver's supposed to kill them sometimes when it's good for the plot uh you get shot in the eye with a silver bullet you come back to life immediately uh you get hacked in the leg by a silver axe hand a silver axe head it's Sure, you, you might die, you might survive, it just depends on if the movie wants it or not. <sighs> Continuity is all over the place simply because of the whole silver thing. It doesn't make any sense at all. It just... <clears throat> okay, that's, that's not the only plot hole. There's this whole side segment. Um, believe it or not, it was a slow portion of the movie that I actually liked. Uh, there's, there's like this... There's a love story kind of going on between Abraham Lincoln and uh, Mary Elizabeth Winston. Uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's it's cinema love. They, they meet three times, they get married. <laughs> it's cinema love. Uh, and they have a kid years later. Um, the kid gets infected by a vampire. Do we care? No, because the kid's been on screen for maybe 40 seconds. I guess it's an infant, so that's why we're supposed to care, but you don't. Uh, and in fact, that's just completely skimmed over. The kid gets hit by a, like, the kid gets bitten by a vampire. The mother's upset. Uh, the 
the, the Abraham Lincoln has the option to make his friend, who's also a vampire but is loyal, but again, only when the plot suits him, uh, to bring this child back to life. However, if he remakes the life, he's, st he's still going to be a vampire. And... That's not resolved. If I missed it, I missed it. But I'm pretty sure the movie just leaves off at... Does the kid survive? Is he a vampire? I guess in, 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 re in the real Abraham Lincoln story, the kid dies. So I guess we're just kind of supposed to assume... Eh! Kid dead. Uh, also, in most of the, in the biographies I've read of Abraham Lincoln, Mary dies. Which I thought she did in the book as well. But apparently not. Uh, and what really gets me, the person that did the book also wrote the screenplay. I don't believe that for a second, but that's what the ending credits said. Ending credits said that the, the Seth, whatever his name is, um, head writer of the script. He must enjoy watching his work go to pieces. I can see a good story here. It's not there. It, it, it missed every turn, every curve. Uh... So many plot holes I felt were just. Uh, the the vampire that's supposed to be loyal. Let let's go. Let's just go back to vampire logic for a second. Uh, they say in the movie several times a vampire cannot die unless hit with a silver bullet. They also bring the theory that a vampire cannot die unless decapitated. Vampires get shot all the time in this movie, or cut in the leg, or in the arm, or in the chest, by a an axe. Never by a silver bullet. Never by. I guess the axe is a silver has a silver head, but they're not losing their heads. They're not losing. They're not being decapitated. Henceforth, they are still alive. A vampire cannot run out of energy. A vampire cannot. His heart cannot beat. Abnormally, he cannot, he, he has infinite strength, he cannot, he can run forever, he can do whatever he wants. However, a vampire holding a train above a fiery chasm makes him sweat, breathe heavy, and run out of energy. It, it leaves on a cliffhanger, as I'm skipping around entirely, but you know what, the movie does too, so it's fine by me. Uh... I wanted so bad to like this movie. I really, really did. This was in my top two movies of this year, and I wanted to like it so bad. Oh my gosh. It's just a chaotic mess. It, it starts off fairly promising. And then it starts getting into Abraham Lincoln learning how to use the axe, which I get the impression he learned how to do all that weird stuff in less than a day. You see him going through training montages, you, you see him just hacking a tree to death, which in hindsight doesn't make a whole lot of sense the way that it works, but it's a movie, I guess. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense at all. This, uh, it's, as a book, I'm sure this idea is phenomenal. I'm sure the book is one of the best reads if I've read it I've ever had in my life. As a standalone movie, no one's gonna fully grasp this, I don't think. The story is all over the place. Um, the characters have no character, really. Um, when you think about it, not a single character really has a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I use the word all the, all the time, I can't think of what it is. Uh, but no, no character has like a full build-up to being someone else. Um, there's a word for it, but I, I can't think of it right now. Um, I, I just, I just don't know. Uh, if, if you are a fan of, uh, Tim Burton stuff, which, this technically isn't a Tim Burton movie, he just produced it. Meaning, Tim Burton gave them the money to make this, which people are gonna be kind of confused about. Everyone's going into this kind of thinking it's a Tim Burton film, and it's not. Uh, it has kind of the, some similar Tim Burton um, camera work, very little, because like I said, this movie, Tim Burton's actually pretty good about keeping his camera stationary and following the action, 
this movie is like this. It's it's all over the place. Um, one of the scenes that involves a horse stampede. Well, the, the entire time I watched the scene, I just had that steam from The Lion King on my head. The da 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 Just... <laughs> that scene gave me the worst headache. Because it's... It's just all over the place. It's defying physics. It's... Uh, it, it makes no sense really at all from a human standpoint. Um, I mean, I, I can argue that it's a book movie, you know, it's, it's fiction, obviously. None of this stuff is actually meant to be taken seriously. There are limits to that. Uh, you can't get hit in the gut with a horse and then immediately stand back up. Doesn't happen that way. Doesn't, physics don't work that way. At all. <laughs> I'm using that phrase a lot, but this movie just isn't good at all. Really. Uh, what are its redeeming qualities? <sighs> not much. Well, not really much of anything. Uh, it has some pretty awesome uh, acts, you know, um, choreography, which would be great if we could see it. Again, like I said, the camera shaking and the, uh, the dust and the gore and the smoke. You just can't see the action, especially during the train scene, which, again, was a hum... I, you couldn't see a thing during the train... This movie is in 3D. I can't even imagine seeing this movie in 3D. Oh my gosh. I... You, you would... Like, whenever you, if you never notice, if you put on 3D glasses, that already kind of downgrades the light by half. You, you wouldn't see anything in this movie if you did that. If you wore 3D glasses in this movie, you would not see anything. It's a rated R film. Uh, honestly, I think if there wasn't one shot, maybe 10, 15 minutes in where you saw titties, <laughs> it probably wouldn't be a rated R film. Um, but the gore factor in this movie is actually pretty minimum. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I actually I actually thought there was, there was more gore in, say, like, The Hunger Games, which is a PG-13, I think. I think there's actually more gore in that movie. There's more gore in The Raven, which is a rated R film. Um, I guess just the vampires with blood coming out of their mouths, but you barely even see that, considering vampires' faces are CGI! Which is exactly how you do not do vampires! I wanted to like this. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw the line because I'm just rambling on about the movie now, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. But really, who cares? Tim Burton, you have failed as a director and as a producer in the past couple years, and I am ashamed. I am ashamed I had to waste my night in a theater um, where there was barely anyone there. I guess it's been out since June 22nd, but. It's still kind of peak time for this movie. Um, it just felt so long. The action's all over the place. The dialogue. Actually, I was, I was, gonna, I was, talk, I was gonna talk about that. The dialogue in this movie. Um, it it kind of backfires on itself quite a bit. They talk about how you can defeat these vampires, and then they talk about how you can protect yourself from these vampires, and then they do those things and it doesn't do anything. I don't know if they're trying to build tension. I don't know if they're trying to build, like, I don't know what they're trying to do. I, 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 I'm, I'm rambling on for way too long about this, but that's just, I'm, I really, really want to like this movie so much and I'm trying to think of what I liked. But other than, I mean, decent casting, and a couple decent effects, mainly the practical ones, ironically. It, it's a pass. I, I can't even really recommend uh, renting it. Um, I, it. If you didn't watch this on a big screen, you're probably going to miss out on a lot of stuff. If they ever convert this movie to full screen, which they're automatically going to, 
you're gonna miss quite a bit of the action you can actually see. Um, the whole silver fiasco doesn't make any sense. From I again, I haven't read the book. I haven't read the book, so I I cannot speak from a fan of the book's perspective. But as a movie goer, I can honestly say that this was a pretty big waste of time. Um, very sadly, very sadly, I I really. Mm. I guess that's it. Um, it's. I can't really come to a conclusion of this. It takes clips from Abraham Lincoln's life, and uses vampires, and merges them together in a script that just doesn't work. That's Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter for you, and. It asks way too many questions. Sketchy Reporter, signing off.